Okay guys, so today we are back over on Naruto Ultimate Ninja Blazing, and as you can see, we're going to be doing 4th Raikage A, the Solid Lightning, where you're on. This is pretty much where A, or the Raikage, tries to stop Killer B and Naruto from leaving to join the war. And we're going to be using a Heart Elements only, because it is a body only raid. As you can see, we already completed it. I recorded it the first time, but I forgot how to talk. So I'm going to try to record it again with me actually being able to talk this time around. So, if you can actually look at this Nava dude right here, I think this is actually Pinky. Shout out to you, Pinky, if this is you. We actually did get the borders for that um, for our ranking. I don't know if they auto put on the borders or if you have to put them on yourself. I'm not 100% sure, but like the higher ranking you are, the better border you have. I've, unfortunately, I don't have like a high ranking member like right here to show you that how the border actually looks. So, Little Rock, we're actually going to use your Madara. Hopefully, your Madara is good. And he doesn't screw us over so let's go ahead and start the mission and i'll see you in the mission so if you haven't done it make sure you go ahead and collect your rewards from the, the first season of ninja world clash now with it being the first season like over i thought like i would play the first season a lot more than i did but unfortunately i just wasn't feeling it man i really just was not feeling i just did not want to play it that much I don't know if it was because I started playing Duel Links again and I was playing Smash Tap at the same time because the Smash Tap event came out at the exact same time so I don't know if it was like those two combinations together or, and then plus on top of it like the dodges being like insane I didn't I don't know if it was that or if I just truly didn't want to play hopefully next season I'll play a little bit more so I can rank a little bit higher they did do a soft reset so if you know what a soft reset means that's pretty much where they reset your account kind of they make it to where I can't hit him with modders and jutsu, so I gotta just punch him real quick. But like I was saying, a soft reset that's pretty much where they reset your ranking, but without resetting it all the way. They pretty much do like um like I was special joning seventh or eighth Dan, and then they just reset my Dan's. I went back down to special joning. So more than likely, if you were in Kage, you're still going to be in Kage now. So which is pretty cool. But of course, once the whole ranking thing resets. Um, for next season, you probably will start back off at the beginning. Uh, hopefully, it's like that. Hopefully, the tunings aren't like still stuck at tuning, and then well, I mean like the Kage is still in Kage's because it kind of defeats the purpose of grinding it. So hopefully, they do reset it all the way. Or as of right now, since this is like the quote unquote like um, off season, uh, it, it's pretty much you just you playing to have fun. We're gonna play a PVP a couple times. Uh, since it's not really ranked, I'm going to do a couple team suggestions, so if you want to leave a team suggestion, please make it full five, 6 stars at least, leave it down in the comment section below and I will actually go ahead and try it out for you. And then before we start the good old times too, we're going to leave you with the question of the day. I haven't done it in a little bit. Uh, the question of the day is going to be, I haven't thought one, thought, thinking one on the spot real quick. Who is your favorite Raikage? Uh, mine, of course, is A. No, actually, no, my, mine isn't A. My favorite Raikage is the third Raikage because of him, like, stabbing himself. I found that low-key funny when they introduced that on the, um, in the anime. It, when, um, like, Naruto figured out that crap was hilarious. Let me know, let me know down in the comment section below what your favorite Raikage is. And also, real quickly before we move on, uh, if you can actually look at these people's feet, like, the character's feet, they actually have blue, like, chakra coming out of them. Oh, I misclicked there, that's dang it I, I didn't mean to misclick <laughs> i mean to do that but pretty much since they're actually standing on water it makes the effect of them actually standing on water here with the chakra on the feet i find that really cool and as you're gonna see when the stage trans um transfers over to another stage you'll see that the background actually changes i find that really cool i'm glad they're implementing little stuff like that y'all if y'all know me you've been on the channel for a long time you know i love little stuff so we're gonna go ahead and fast forward and i'll see you on the second stage Okay, time to move on. So second stage, there is a Tsunade that spawns in, but you have two ways before you have to deal with that Tsunade. So I would just go ahead and switch your moderators out or switch your Kirin Sasuke's, whoever you're using, and just go ahead and start just punching these adds here. You really don't even have to use a ninjutsu here, especially if you got you get that critical like that. That's going to be really good for you. Now, a lot of people are going to be asking me why I'm running Yu-Gi-Oh! and Deidara instead of like Kikakashi, Tamari, Darui, stuff, units like that, Raikage. Um, the reason I'm running these units that I'm actually am really the only thing you need is two moderators. So if you have a moderator yourself and a friend unit, you can beat this hella easy. You'll see this at the end when I actually go to fight them. But 
the reason I'm running them is because my team cost is so high because that moderate is 80 cost still like my moderate is 80 cost still so since this cost is so high I actually can't run any other unit and I don't really want to put dupe stones into them when I when the only thing I really have to do is summon on blazing fest and I'll get them a couple times sooner or later even though you know I haven't gotten only one since he released which kind of sucks but that is whatever. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use Yukito's Jutsu, Dator's Jutsu, and then I think I have to use Mario's regular Ninjutsu. And then Tsunade should be dead. And then we're going to have to just stall up a little bit to get Mario's Jutsu back. And then we'll go ahead and move on to the next stage. Because really, like I said, only you need is two Mario Ninjutsus and then a um, just a regular ultimate from Yukito or Dator. And you actually beat this. So hopefully this doesn't kill him. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch out to Suzune. Switch out to Tsunade and then let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit more. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on. I think this will kill him. Okay, it did not kill him. So let's go ahead and just switch in our other Madara. And then we're going to have to stall up for one more turn. And then we can move on. So Because we do want to start it with our second Madara. So we can use one Madara ult. And then use another Madara ult. Now, the last time I was recording this was legit. was like five minutes before I recorded this one. Uh, I actually didn't use a Madara. Like, I used the ult. And it didn't use up all the ninjutsu. So if it can do that again, that would be great. Another thing to mention, if you're running this and you don't have Madara's, Raikage actually does get a um, perfect dodge when he uses his... I think he gets a perfect dodge using his secret technique. I believe it's his secret technique. It might be his regular danger. I'm not sure. I know one of them... Okay, yeah. So this one gives him a perfect dodge. But no. Okay. So secret technique gives him attack boost. Danger gives him one perfect dodge. So that is something to keep in mind while you're doing this. And also that Madara didn't use ninjutsu. I mean, his um, tracker gauge on two for two right now, which is really cool. I did not expect that to happen. That is really, really amazing. And guys, if you've been living under a rock, I'm not going to cover this separately. If you're still watching, uh, the new Obito has been released. Uh, he's actually, it's pretty much the same Obito. It's the Sage of Six Paths Obito or the Jinchuriki Obito, whatever you want to call him. Jubito, whatever. Uh, he is out on JP right now for Blazing Fest. He'll be coming to us next week. Unfortunately, the cheap pearl system is still down, unfortunately. But, you know, that is fine. It's whatever, it's whatever. But, he is amazing. I'm not going to spoil it, but we all know Shiny does those 150 attack boosts. If you haven't seen it yet, go check out Shiny's video. That crap was crazy. Completely crazy. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like. Let me know down in the comment section below. Again, question of the day. Who is your favorite Raikage? And anyway, guys, I'll see you the fuck later. Peace.